Yo, what's going on? I want to welcome everybody back to my channel. I'm JR, and this is Motivation on Everything. Today, I want to talk about overcoming anxiety and depression. Have you been to the doctor and was diagnosed with either one or both? How did they deliver the information to you? Was it disappointing or uplifting? I myself received disappointing news. I was basically told I was crazy and I should take any depressants to help me. Something to me didn't feel right and I wasn't willing to accept that option on handling what I was feeling. The medication had side effects worse than what I was going through and I just didn't become crazy out of nowhere. I refused and didn't agree with anything the doctor was telling me. Why do we trust in doctors so much as if they are never wrong? Is it so hard to believe that we can't educate ourselves on what's going on with us? It's crazy to think anyone in this world is qualified to tell us anything about ourselves. If you don't know who you are physically and mentally, how is someone else going to tell you who you are and how your body works? Every individual is different. Did you know when you go to the doctor with certain problems, nine times out of 10, it's just an educated guess of what they think the issue is. Then they tell you to try this and that and see if it works. Sounds like something you can do yourself, right? Are you dissatisfied and not happy with the results you received? The information and treatments they offer is not the only source to look for help. I told myself, I will research until I find out what works for me. I read other people's stories and how they overcame it. I found out the true meaning of the word anxiety. I call it overdrive. It's when you overwork your body and have a lot of stress built up. Then over time, that will lead into depression. Once I found out what was going on with me, I look for natural ways to help me feel better. I tried so many things, meditation, breathing exercises, eating right, having a healthy digestive system, exercise, resting, therapeutic activities like sports. The list goes on. All of these things were very helpful. I kept busy until I felt better and stronger. Through the process, I found out so much about myself. I was able to narrow it down to a few things that are important to do. I would say they are the building blocks to a fast recovery and will help me bounce back if those feelings ever come again. Eat healthy. Your digestive system has a lot to do with the stress. Get enough rest. Add naps to your day. Don't overwork yourself. Drink plenty of water. Water is a big part of the healing process in your body. Having a hobby or passion for something will take your mind off of feelings you don't want. Strengthen the mind because that's all we have to fight off the negative thoughts when you receive disappointing news from the doctor. I'm not saying going to the hospital and seeing the doctor is a bad thing. I'm saying you can learn a lot about who you are and take less trips to the doctor. This is my story. I figured out what worked for me on my own. If you're struggling now, realize you have not tried everything. Learning about yourself every day will keep the doctor away. Well, that's it for now. I truly hope this was helpful to encourage you to educate yourself on who you are and how your body works. Have a strong mind so you can fight off the negative thoughts. Sometimes we will receive bad news. It's our job to not let it break us. Search for things that could help you and don't stop until you feel better. Now let's end it off with saying, 
Don't ever give up. Stay strong. Let's see what works. Until next time, stay motivated.